everybody's so mad over the two sides of things and like siding with Britney, siding with Jamie. Do any of you have siblings? Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jazzy. I do all sorts of videos. I do hauls. I do um, vlogs. I do a lot of car vlogs. I am a very chatty individual. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, story times are something I am very good at <laughs> and something I pride myself in. So if you like story time videos or like people that are just, they talk too much, honestly, you'll love me. <laughs> But I am sitting in the car right now. It is raining, so hopefully you guys can't hear it. You probably will be able to. I just hope it picks up on my voice over the rain more. But we are excited. Today's a good day because I went through the Duncan line. First of all, they told me like a month ago at this point. I feel like it was a long time ago. They told me they no longer had peppermint mocha. And that whoever told me that lied to me. And they have peppermint mocha. So I'm frustrated by that because I could have been drinking peppermint mocha this whole entire month and I stopped drinking it like at least a week ago I've been enjoying caramel and it's not been as good as peppermint mocha so I asked for peppermint mocha today because they told me they were out of caramel and my lady there I have a new lady there who's I don't know like it's like it's weird because when one person sucks not sucks but when one person is not in a good headspace the other person is so like it's they always even each other out so the my jazzy with the whip guy isn't jazzy with the whip guy anymore like I don't know he's going through something and I support him with whatever he's got going on but I have concerns because he's not being himself lately so I'm worried about him but Dominic says calm down don't worry I'm sure he's fine but I do worry about him because he's always in the background now and he doesn't say Jesse with the whip and he doesn't he doesn't talk to me or anything <laughs> he just seems like he's a little down lately so but that's okay because there's other people there and this other lady who's been there for years you guys this lady literally she's the OG we've we've been going there for like two and a half years now and she's been there since the beginning and she she is just the funniest lady. Literally yesterday, she's like, I'll see you tomorrow. And then we kind of had a joke together. But it was like our first like actual like conversation interaction. And then today she was funny again. So but usually she's not usually she's very somber and not like chatty. So I don't know you guys. I don't know what's going on. But she's the one that told me that not that you guys care. It's like, why do I I go on and on about these people like they're like people in my life, like actual friends of mine. But you know, these are are the people in my life these are the people in my life i am surrounded by my duncan employees and my neighbors all of which most of which are amazing one of which is a psychopath <laughs> but you guys speaking of my psychopath neighbor if you remember if you recall in the comment section i haven't discussed this on my channel at all but we have a way that we are protecting ourselves from the neighbor you guys can use your imagination with what that way is however the way that we are protecting ourselves does not have any audio <laughs> that you would be able to hear her conversations going in and out of her apartment or anything like that the way we're protecting ourselves is literally just visually and it's only on the parking lot like it doesn't it's not like only on her unit or only on her door or anything like that it's on our parking lot and honestly we've had it for a long time we even had it way before this all went on because we had the issues with the old neighbors what really made us get it was that we started seeing graffiti in our neighborhood and our tires were like always flat so we started to worry that someone was popping our tires because obviously the graffiti in the neighborhood made us a little concerned and like the graffiti was like right across from our unit so we were starting to worry but our what we have protecting us doesn't face anybody's unit doesn't face anybody's windows doesn't face anybody's doors you know the you know the usual drill of what you're not allowed to do to protect yourself but we obviously do have protections in order and i'm sure that she has noticed these protections and i think it would be great for her to protect herself as well i honestly encourage her to get a camera or to do something along those lines however Dominic got home last night and she now has a ring camera and if you guys know you guys if you guys have been here a while I'm sorry for anybody that is new because you're probably like what the hell is happening right now <laughs> go watch my video I'll tag it at the end of this video and I'll put it down below but my video about my crazy neighbor 
So, anyway, there's been a lot going on with her, and so she put this ring camera up last night, and Dominic came up, and he was like, oh, she has a ring camera, and I was, at first I was just like, oh, that's great, like, I'm happy she's, you know, protecting herself, because I think that she obviously needs that, and, but then the more I thought about it, the more I thought about the fact that our doors are, like, the way our doors are is, I've told you guys this before, my door's here and her door's here, and it's just, like, this little, like, cubby area that like you if she has a ring camera every time I go up to my door there's no way for me to avoid her seeing that I'm going up to my door which is fine I don't really care about that to be honest I don't even care if it records camera footage or notifies her a little annoying that it's going to notify her every time we come in and out of our apartment but for those of you that know ring cameras it records audio as well and it's on the outside of her apartment so every time I go down the stairs or go to leave my apartment she will be able to hear everything that I'm talking about so I am going to have to censor myself in certain areas because because obviously I don't want my neighbor knowing different things about my life like financials health issues and stuff like that and I'm always on the phone with my mom when I come into my apartment typically so I'm usually like talking to her on the phone and if my neighbor's not there I'm comfortable because I'm like she's not gonna put her face up to the peephole which is what she was doing for a while <laughs> and I kind of was thinking like that she's got to get a camera at some point because it was getting weird like we could hear her every time we came up to the door we could hear her pressing her face up against the door like literally every time and so obviously she got this ring camera I don't know if I really care all that much other than the thing that she can hear our conversations and I don't know if that's right because of the way that our door area is it'd be different if our doors were like right across from each other then that's fine like it is what it is there's nothing we can do about that but our doors are so close I'll take a picture for you guys you guys have seen our doors but I'll take a picture of where her ring camera is when I get home and like you'll see it's like so it's like very blatantly out there that she has a ring camera and it's just like I don't care that you have a camera, but I really don't want you listening to me, especially if you're not home. Like, it's just weird. I don't like that. But then again, we have something as well protecting ourselves. And in my eyes, that's protecting ourselves. But in my eyes, hers is spying. <laughs> so, like, it's like, I don't know. I'm on a teeter-totter of if I feel comfortable with it or not. Or, like, if I'm just justifying, like, saying that it's not okay because it's not me. But if I had been the one that installed the ring camera, would I think this person's being crazy over nothing because they also have something protecting themselves but I don't know it's really it's really not about the camera I want her to have a camera I, I honestly love that she has a camera because originally when Dominic told me I was like this is great she'll be able to you know watch her footage and see that we're not doing anything like we Dominic and I do nothing so like this will be great she'll just have proof that we're not doing anything <laughs> but then as the as time went on I was like well she'll not just have proof of that but she'll also just have proof of our conversations which I just don't like that that makes me feel icky that somebody can like eavesdrop on my conversations and then also like she I'm almost can almost guarantee that it'll pick up conversations even in our unit because it's right there next to our unit like, I can almost guarantee it will pick up those conversations, but then on the other flip side of it, it'll also pick up her conversations. So if anything does happen where she, like the other day, for instance, this, her camera would have picked this up if she had a camera at that time, but she didn't. But I don't know what happened, but her dog, like, kind of got let loose a little bit, but it was on a, it was on a leash. So I don't know what happened there, but she picked her dog up by the neck so you know how like cats um pick up their other their kittens to like carry them to places well she picked her little dog and i don't know if this is okay for me i can't imagine doing this to my dog but she picked her little dog up by its neck and carried it and its little legs were just like dangling like it was honestly so sad and she didn't just do it once she did it two times so in my head if she has a camera up like it, it's almost maybe a good thing because she will have footage of her doing these things that she really is not okay so if we were to have like an issue with the cops or whatever then the cops would come and they would say oh well we see you have a ring camera like you, you want to prove that you're not you didn't do what you said you didn't do <laughs> you know what I mean so I don't know I'm on the fence about it Dominic reached out to the landlord and said like is there anything against external cameras 
but in hindsight i'm like eh, kind of wish she didn't do that because really all that proof is gonna be she's just gonna prove that she's doing stuff that's wrong because we haven't done anything we literally don't do anything wrong so i just don't really want her to hear like i don't really want her to hear conversations about my youtube channel and like that's more so what it is it's just like a privacy concern and like if we get packages she'll get like a notification that we got a package and stuff like that like i don't it's not just like survey or surveillance seeing her door it's also surveillance seeing our door which i'm okay with but not to the extent of like when she's not home she can listen to me talking on the phone to my mom you know what i mean like i don't know i don't know i know everything's weird now these days because everybody has cameras and it kind of feels hypocritical to complain about her camera when we are also have something that is protecting us but our protection does not record audio like we that would be messed up if we could hear her like hear conversations i don't think that's right but anyway that's the tea that's the tea the new tea hot tea on the neighbor i mean truthfully we'll see where this all takes us but i'm not too concerned about it because we don't do anything wrong so worst case scenario she'll hear me talking about my youtube channel and she'll find my youtube channel and i really would prefer she doesn't do that because that i obviously share so much with you guys <laughs> and like i don't really want my neighbor to know all the details that i share with you guys because she's a creeper and i just don't want her knowing that stuff <laughs> But anyway, I'm gonna go home now and we're gonna get our day started. I don't know. I really need a clean today. I don't know if I'll vlog it, but we'll see. I'll keep you guys posted. Okay, you guys. So I just finished up doing dishes. And while I was doing dishes, I was actually watching the podcast of Call Her Daddy where um, Alex had... Britney or had Jamie Lynn Spears on it which I just think is weird <laughs> first of all and second of all I just I don't know you guys I feel like this is definitely not going to be something that is going to make people happy but I don't think anybody's in the wrong like like I think if you guys aren't familiar with the whole like Jamie Lynn Spears and Britney Spears drama I mean, not even that I don't think anybody's in the wrong. I, I think they're both in the wrong at this point. Like, I feel like they're making it public and it really shouldn't be public. But if you guys aren't familiar with it, basically, um, Brittany, I'm sure everybody's familiar with it, but Britney Spears was under conservatorship for or conservatorship or whatever it's called for the past, like, forever, like a very long time. Apparently, there's some issues now because Jamie Lynn never spoke up and Britney like kept making digs saying that like people weren't there for her when she needed them and the true reality is and I wish Jamie Lynn wouldn't have just said this but I don't think Jamie Lynn is like healed from this all of this either so the true reality is is that maybe Jamie Lynn wasn't there for her and that's okay so I feel like this is gonna be kind of a hot take <laughs> for those of you that are interested in this stuff I don't know how many of you are going to be but like I just I don't know how to tell everybody this, but I feel like Jamie Lynn Spears is not really, like, that in the wrong. Like, everybody's so mad over the two sides of things and, like, siding with Britney, siding with Jamie. Do any of you have siblings? Like, I just don't understand the logic in why we're siding with anybody when in a sibling relationship, like, there's obviously always, like, tensions like that. It's such, it's so, such old thinking, thinking that you have to help someone who is toxic to you out of a situation that is toxic for them. Like, I don't know. I feel like everybody's definitely trying to say that, like, Jamie Lynn should have helped Britney, but it's, it sounds from, like, what I was hearing, like, Britney just kept, like, kind of pushing Jamie Lynn away through the relationship and, like, blocking her and stuff like that. And, like, there's only so much you can do for someone that doesn't want your help. <laughs> so, I don't know. <laughs> I know that's not going to get me a lot of, like, love, probably, because I'm, I am pro-Britney. Like, I've been free Britney this whole time, and I still am free Britney. But also, I'm kind of, like free Jamie Lynn as well like I don't think that it's necessary to hold Jamie Lynn to this like un the standard that we don't know all didn't know all the details to what we don't know all the details to like I feel like there's only so much you can try and get into someone's life that's trying to push you out of it so like if Britney was blocking her all the time and stuff like that like that's very confusing for Jamie Lynn <laughs> like obviously you don't want a relationship with your sister if you're blocking her on things and stuff like that and like vice versa like obviously Jamie Lynn 
felt like it was a toxic relationship with her sister so she kind of distanced herself from her sister as well so i don't know i could i could feel for both of them in that situation because i feel like they both care about each other it's obvious that they both care about each other but it's also obvious that neither of them knew how to navigate that with the dynamic that their family gave them which was not um conducive of a healthy relationship so like i feel like people coming in and saying that like jamie lynn should have done this should have done that well there's a lot of things britney probably should have done as well and like i feel like both of them are in the wrong and i feel like both of them are also in the right like i don't think anybody's that wrong in this situation i just feel like it's family stuff and like i don't think it should be public so anyway that was it was some hot tea though i will say <laughs> listening to that like i've been really invested in it because because I've kind of been just confused by it all. I just don't think anybody should be silenced. And like, if, if Jamie Lynn wants to like speak her side of the story, like, I don't think it's fair of the world to like say that she, her, her side is all wrong. Because meanwhile, Britney Spears is posting on her Instagram, I should have slapped you and mom. Like, I'm sorry. And people are laughing at that. People think that's hilarious. But but if Jamie Lynn had posted that about Britney, can you fucking imagine? <laughs> like, that would be, like, it would be so bad. So, I don't know. I think it's all messed up. I don't think either of them should be doing it out in the public. But I also am curious, like, I feel like if they had, like, a good family dynamic, not to say the Kardashians have a good family dynamic, but, like, I feel like they could have been, not the Kardashians, but they could have had, like, a big situation with their life if the mom had been, like, a proper mom I don't know that's it's, it really sounds like it's the mom and the dad it's a, like it's a bad situation there but it really seems like the mom and the dad kind of mess both of them up and that's not that's not really Brittany or Jamie Lynn's fault and like I feel like they're holding a lot of animosity towards each other because of all of this and like I don't know some people just aren't meant to be in each other's lives forever like that's a long freaking time <laughs> to know someone I feel like it's unrealistic to have a great relationship with your sibling all the time like that's somebody that's known you from the time that you were like zero <laughs> like it's not it's it's odd to expect that relationship to be consistently a good relationship and like I actually really related I really did relate to Jamie Lynn and some of the things that she said because she was saying that there have been times in her relationship with her sister where she she felt like their relationship was really good and then all of a sudden her sister like didn't didn't feel like it was good and like I feel like I can relate to that in so many circumstances in circumstances with friends family all sorts of situations like there's just so many times when people don't speak their mind and that's something I actually really like about Carrie I didn't mean to get on this topic but <laughs> something I really love about Carrie you guys know her on YouTube she and she, she said she doesn't do this often, but like we had a little like, I said something like mean to her at one time and I didn't even know I said something mean to her. Like it came off as mean and I did not mean it to be mean. And she flat out like right away texted me and said, hey, like this has been on my heart and I really want to tell you that I don't think you meant it this way, but this is how I feel like you meant it. And I just need to know that that's not how you meant it. <laughs> immediately like I was like hold the phone that is not how I meant it at all like I would never want to be mean to you at all that was not my intention but she called me out on it and said hey this is how I feel I just want to make sure that's not what you meant and I was able to clarify like oh yeah that's not that's not what I meant at all <laughs> but a lot of people don't do that I mean I certainly don't I definitely don't I have so many friendships where stuff is like not Gucci <laughs> And like I'm mad about it and I just kind of like you push it in and you don't say anything and then you just kind of go on and maybe the friendship dwindles because you didn't mention that this bothered you and you just have to kind of choose obviously who's most important to you in your life that like it's important enough to bring that stuff up but there's a lot of people that it's just not it's not important enough to have that fight and try and continue a friendship but then there's other people where you try and have that fight and then it's just, it just it doesn't go very well obviously but I don't know that's just like a skill that is a skill that I want to learn to be better at this year is like I want to learn how to be better at addressing issues with friends without feeling like I have to repress them 
and those are the real friends those are the true friends the ones that like hurt you and you're able to because I do actually have friends like that like my friend Natalie I always if something if she says something that makes me mad immediately I'm like hey I don't know why you said that <laughs> and like she'll immediately be like oh that is not how I meant it at all then the thing gets resolved but then there's other friends where something goes on and now we're no longer friends because they ha they probably have no idea why I started treating them differently but I started treating them differently because I was frustrated by something that they did but I never communicated that with them you know what I mean like I don't know it's just interesting so it made me think about like different friendship dynamics I suppose and like family dynamics and stuff like that but it was good I highly recommend if you guys are interested in listening to Jamie Lynn's side of the series which I know a lot of people are not I also saw on the call her daddy Instagram that everybody was like this is not the look and in my head when I first saw that she was having Jamie Lynn on there I was like oof this is not it for call her daddy <laughs> like this does not make her look good that she's having her on but I don't know I'm always one to give people like I'm always one to give to want to hear everything like I want to hear all sides of things rather than just hearing one and I obviously have been pro Britney and I'm still pro Britney but I think you can be pro Britney while also being pro Jamie Lynn and like I feel like I'm pro whatever the hell they want to be if they don't want a relationship with each other then they shouldn't have one but I don't think the media should be like so reprimanding of Jamie Lynn when they're not reprimanding Britney at all and Britney doesn't sound like she was that great of a sister to her either so <laughs> I'm not gonna lie like that's just my tea that's my tea that I have for the day of um what I've been up to so I am actually going to uh I'm honestly nervous to like put this out there because I feel like so many people are like, so pro Britney <laughs> and like I get it because like obviously she's not like there's been a lot that she's gone through but also I don't know I feel like I feel like Jamie Lynn's also gone through a lot and I'm I'm also one the type of person that like just because someone's gone through worse than you it doesn't diminish your bad experience so just because like somebody just because Britney has gone through worse than what Jamie Lynn went through it doesn't make Jamie Lynn's what Jamie Lynn's gone through not matter and like I feel like that's what the world is doing is they're trying to they're trying to make what she's gone through not matter and like I just don't I don't agree with that I feel like even for me from my perspective like if I do something wrong and like let's say one of my friends does something wrong I feel like just because I'm just because I'm frustrated with them about something that they did it doesn't mean that I have no accountability because if I don't express to them that like they I don't know, made me mad in some way. And and then I just react negatively back to them. That's on me. That's my, I need to have accountability for that. And I feel like that's also where everybody is like mad at Jamie Lynn. And I can agree with that is that she took no responsibility <laughs> for anything that she did wrong in the relationship with her and Brittany. And I feel like she should take responsibility for a lot of that stuff. And then also I feel like Brittany also could take some responsibility as well. I just feel like that's what they're lacking is they have, they're holding on to like pride and need of them want to take responsibility for doing anything wrong when they're both responsible you know what I'm saying anyway that was long long babble just to say I'm pro both I'm pro Spears I think that both of those two like it's not their fault at all that they have all this drama I actually think that it's more so the parents um issue but I am done talking about that now. It is supposed to snow tonight and I am getting ready for that. I actually should bring Sunday for a walk before it starts like raining again because it stopped raining, but it's going to snow and we're supposed to get two inches. Well, we're supposed to get two to four inches, which sounds like nothing, but it might be, it might feel like a lot, you guys. So I will <laughs> check in with you guys later after I bring Sunday out for a walk. <laughs> okay, guys, I actually have one more thing I need to say and unfortunately it started raining and I'm very upset by this. <laughs> Because I need to say this before I go out there, but it's definitely raining again. It is what it is. But I feel like they both also have very, like, narcissistic tendencies. And I feel like their parents were probably narcissistic, or at least one of their parents was narcissistic. Because it seems like the whole family has, like, a selfish 
like selfish tendencies and they also seem to be very good at like faking empathy if that makes sense because i felt like she was very empathetic to her sister in some of the things she said and then i also felt felt like britney a lot of times in what she said in like her posts and stuff she does have empathy for her sister but i almost feel like that's a a false empathy like a like a narcissistic empathy and so i feel i don't know i feel like they neither of them actually take accountability for their actions which is a very narcissistic thing to do where a normal like a someone who has not been surrounded by a narcissist or has not been um in an environment where there were narcissistic treatments i feel like they would be very likely to be like you know what i actually have a lot of issues and i also did some wrong in this situation where a someone who has narcissistic tendencies would have empathy for that person but they would not express that they did anything wrong which is what it sounds like on both counts for both of them i feel like this could very easily have been resolved privately if either of them had any sort of moral compass when it comes to what they have done wrong you know what i mean like a normal a, a person that doesn't have narcissistic tendencies can come out and say you know what I probably did something wrong in this situation, but, or I can see where they're coming from in this situation, but neither of them really seem like they're able to do that. So I don't think their relationship's probably going to go anywhere. Anyway, you guys, I'm going to take this walk now because it is definitely going to start like really pouring if I don't go out like ASAP. <laughs> You guys that was literally so cold and horrible honestly there was a cute little squirrel and he was just like running in circles soaking wet it was so sad <laughs> i seriously think that like there's something wrong with him and like he's not supposed to be out there anymore like it was just sad you guys but that is what just happened here so i just wanted to update you guys the walk I did get rained on. <laughs> Hey guys, I need to end this vlog and I realize that it is a little later now and I'd be looking way different <laughs> because I came back in and it was so cold. I'm like actually frozen. Do you think I'll turn the heat on though? Nope. <laughs> I'm not about to turn the heat on. I'm sure Dominic's gonna get home and he'll turn the heat on right away. But I had to change because I was so freaking cold and it was kind of annoying because I had just put that outfit on. But you know, you I felt like a wet dog. I'm sure Sunday wasn't very happy because she was a wet dog. <laughs> but I am going to wrap this vlog up here. We're gonna have ramen tonight. If I get a clip, I'll put it in for you guys because Dominic makes the best ramen. But if I don't, it is what it is, and I apologize. I love you guys. I will see you guys on Monday. You guys seem to be really loving the vlogs. I know a lot of you have requested that I do different, like, hauls and stuff. I have put a haul on my hauls. I'm not going to keep that up. I promise I am going to be doing hauls again soon. I just am poor. <laughs> I am extremely poor right now. So, we're holding off. I figured I'd take just the month off of January of doing hauls, and then come February, I'll start doing my hauls again. But I just needed, like, I honestly just needed the time off, to be honest, from my hauls. And, like, I just love connecting with you guys through my vlogs, to be honest. I, I like doing my hauls, and I am going to continue doing hauls. But I love that you guys are enjoying my vlogs as well. And a lot of you haven't really mentioned that you want, want to see hauls, but I know. I know we all missing it. I am losing subscribers because I'm sure that they also are, like, why is this girl not doing hauls anymore? <laughs> but I will be doing them again. Don't worry, you guys. I will be picking my hauls back up. And I shouldn't actually, now that I think of it, I just realized that my headline thing on my YouTube channel still says I'm posting videos every Sunday and Wednesday. And I'm definitely not. I'm doing Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So I probably should change that thing too. I've been a little behind the eight ball this year. I still haven't even come up with my word of the year. And I told you guys I would have that within the first week. Hopefully you guys can hear me. This freaking AC. The downstairs people, you guys, I just hate the downstairs unit. <laughs> they got a new AC like like two months ago before this lady even moved in. And it is so loud. At nighttime, I can barely sleep. Well, I can now. But originally, I could barely sleep because it was so loud. And, like, it's just annoying. But the old AC was just fine. We never could hear it. But clearly, it wasn't working for them. So, you know, what are you going to do? I'm sure it's very loud for them, though, because it's right next to their bedroom. I guess I don't really care, though. We all don't know. I don't care about that lady. <laughs> but I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Remember to give this a big thumbs up. 
if you liked it. Also, if you guys have any thoughts on the whole Jamie Spears and Britney Spe Jamie Lynn Spears and Britney Spears like drama, drop them down below. If you want to hear more of my thoughts on it, because I have still been thinking about it <laughs> the rest of the day, because I feel like I didn't really get to touch on like the conservatorship and like the issue I have with that situation as well with Jamie Spears, who's Britney Spears' dad. Um, I have an issue with that, obviously. That's, like, a whole side thing. This was just about the relationship between Jamie Lynn and her sister. I feel like I have different feelings on that than most likely everyone else. But I love you guys, and I will leave a link down below also for the Call Her Daddy episode that I mentioned. All right, you guys. Like this if you liked it. Leave a comment, and I'll see you guys in my next one. <laughs>